Greetings, I'm Jonathan Spirit, I can't do you, you matter, and welcome to Age of Engineering Super Shorts. Last episode, I said I would set up a replicator system, but the pattern storage block vital to that system requires an RF tools machine frame for the modular storage block, which means I need age 7. But I'm not done with age 6, because with age 6 comes environmental tech. I've been mining up a storm with this fancy new drill, outfitted with speed, fortune, and 3x3, and with an extra silk touch augment for this diamond and nether quartz ore. Today, I want to get the solar array, the void ore miner, and the void resource miner. That is a huge resource sink, as I'm sure you can see from my inventory already, and I've got a lot of work to do to get it done. So let's get started. I'm currently empowering 32 Bistonia blocks because that's about how much I'm going to need for the solar cells. And I've moved my diesel generator down here just to make sure I'll have enough RF per tick to run this thing smoothly. I'm getting a net gain, so that means I'm running as fast as I can. While I wait for that, I'm preparing my 64 structure blocks, which requires 4 stacks of electrical steel. And that requires silicon, so I'm gonna need a lot of clay. My 40 machine bases need 80 stone burnt, so I'm making another resonator. I also need 80 triple compressed cobblestone, so I made myself a compacting drawer, and now I'm making a cobblestone generator tier 5. And we should be finished shortly. Half a stack or so of silicon dioxide isn't quite enough, but I'm getting there. It took a while, but I did get all the empowered restonia I needed. Now I can craft my 80 basic capacitors. Yes, 80. Meanwhile, I also need 30 photovoltaic cells, though it wasn't really that hard compared to everything else we've done so far. 40 double layer capacitors, 20 octadic capacitors, and finally 10 solar cells, 80 triple compressed cobblestone, 40 alabaster machine base, 4 modifier cores, an energy phantom face, which you'll understand later, solar panel controller tier 1, Oops, we'll be holding off on the Void Resource Miner for now, because that one requires end stone. 40 alabaster structure blocks, 2 clear lenses, 3 laser cores, and last but certainly not least, the Void Ore Miner Controller Tier 1. I'll also need an alabaster structure block Tier 2 for the assembler. The assembler allows you to automatically right-click on a controller block to assemble a multi-block. I'll put my solar controller up here, and assemble from down here. Multi-block assembly complete! Now to put that phantom energy face to use with the phantom connector, I'll put it down here and connect it to this ender energy conduit because it wouldn't connect to the controller and get it connected up. It took me longer than I thought, but I have performed a proper expansion of my basement. It got a bit out of control. It's almost ready. All I need now is a power buffer from ender IO to relay only a certain amount of power to my voyeur miner. This recipe is nice and straightforward. Set the output to 720, the top to pull, and the side to push, and the miner will use nothing more than what the solar panel provides. Right now I get one ore every 22 seconds. Once I upgrade either my void ore miner or my solar panel, that production will at least double. And that's it for today's episode. Next episode, I might just go to the end and defeat the Ender Dragon. For that, I'll probably upgrade the solar panel or the Void Ore Miner, if not both. I'm starting to get into the swing of things, but as always and forever, I'd still love feedback on what I'm doing. I hope you enjoyed!